let's understand the Turner in repository a little further. And when we refer to the repository, we mean simply where your papers are stored in our database. So we have a couple of options. We have the standard paper repository, where any papers submitted here will be entered into the Turnitin database, allowing those papers to be compared against students' papers within the same institution and other institutions. We also have the no repository option, where this simply means papers will not be stored in the database, therefore meaning papers will not be checked for collusion between students of the same or different institutions. Next, let's take a look at permanent deletion requests as an administrator in Turnitin. As a Turnitin administrator, you can now delete papers from the Turnitin Global Database. If your instructor requests a paper deletion, you will be notified in your messages icon. To action these requests, simply click on deletion requests where you will see all pending requests. If you are happy with the paper deletion and you want to go ahead and remove it from the Turnitin database, then you can simply click the little tick icon and then delete from database. You can also reject this request. Let's go ahead and delete from the database. A message will appear talking about the file and that you can recover the file for up to 30 days after deletion if you do need to. Click continue and if everything looks okay simply type the word delete and click confirm. We can now see that the paper has been removed from the request folder and if we click on the drop down, click on recoverable, the paper is simply in this folder. So if you do need to recover this paper for whatever reason you can. Included in this drop down is an all button where you can see all activity surrounding paper deletion.